lot of people have an hour there age with drinking. But you know what Howard was? Tactically magnificent. And I mean, when we were, we played in Bay Munich, they go on about four at the back and two in there and one in the old and all, no, which is, it, it's fine. It's fine because tactics are really important in the game. We went to Bay Munich, played in the first leg of the European Cup semi-final. And he had four at the back, the usual back four. Um, Alan Arp was on the right hand side, me, Brace, Kevin Richardson, Trevor Stephen played off Grain Sharp, Kevin Sheedy was injured, Andy Gray was out the side, Adrian Lee got injured before. So, you know, when you pick a team like that against a great side in Europe, it's forgotten. It's forgotten in terms of tactical nows. And that was the manager we had. And, and he had tough times early on, H. He had tough times. He, it took him time to build the side, and a lot of people go on about the Oxford game, about being the uh, catalyst on the change. Slightly disagree, um, and this was in the managing again. I always remember that uh, Christmas, we got beat at Wolves 3 0. Oh, we were crap. Oh, we were crap. <laughs> Andy Gray was skipper. Oh, we, oh, we were crap. I think, I think we beat uh, Birmingham in between. And then we played Coventry in a, in a game, New Year's, and it was nil nil. And do you remember the match of the day, Jimmy Hill? Well, I still don't know, but Jimmy Hill's not there. But Jimmy Hill, the highlights, oh, God's honest, the highlights were us kicking off <laughs> and then kicking off at half time. <laughs> And the fucking cushions coming down and the fucking roof. And Jimmy Hill went, these have been trouble. I'll tell you what happens. We went to uh, Stoke City in the FA Cup. And the manager was under extreme pressure. Howard was under extreme pressure. And he he come in the, the dressing room at the Victoria Grounds. And he, he left Kingy out, Kingy stormed off. Great decision. Name the team. I said, sit down. And then he, he got on the, the bench and he opened the windows. And I've got to say, there was like 10,000 Evertonians, obviously a few of you lads here. And he opened the slats of the windows and the noise was deafening. And the team talk was, go out and win it for them. Now, it might sound we went out and won it 2 0. And I think from then on, that roller coaster happens. That roller coaster where we, we thought, you know, we had to Oxford, you know, but we got an equalised, we beat him. We got beat by uh, Liverpool. We went to the FA Cup final, which is one of the. My, my finest achievement was winning the FA Cup because it was the first one. And it was a big trophy then. And by the way, the left back was the best player on the pitch that day. <laughs> as, as you look back in time, I remember coming down the steps at Wembley, and it was it was the hour Wembley. I I've got an affinity for. It, I loved it. And, uh, I remember seeing the gaffer in the grey suit. He fucking didn't suit grey, but he had the best smile you've ever seen in your life. And I thought, yeah. And it's one of my happiest memories in football. That was the catalyst for those to go on. <laughs>